This lobster is so valuable that people try to smuggle its larvae across international waters. The ornate tropical rock lobster, or the pearl lobster as it's better known, can cost nearly $100 a kilogram, making it six times as expensive as other popular varieties, like Maine lobsters. The colorful crustacean is one of the rarest and priciest lobsters you can find. But what makes the pearl lobster so special? And why exactly is it so expensive? Pearl lobsters are found throughout the Indian Ocean and West Pacific, but the waters around Indonesia are where their largest communities exist. They're known for their blue-green shells, rainbow-colored spots, and extra-long antennae. Pearl lobsters are also meatier and sweeter than other lobsters. In Ikas Bay, Indonesia, they're considered a popular delicacy and sold for a hefty profit. Rasanya ini yang mungkin membuatnya populer dari lobster yang lain. Rasanya itu agak-agak manis dan woi gurih, enak dan kalau digoreng itu rasanya pokoknya mantap dah. Abdul Kasim has been fishing for lobsters for 29 years. Whenever it's not too windy, he takes his boat to rocky locations that could be home to pearl lobsters. Kita belajar menangkap lobster ini eh, sejak apa diajarkan oleh orang tua. Ini kalau kita bilang turun temurun. Bagian tersulitnya adalah ketika kita menentukan lokasinya. Terkadang lokasi yang sudah kita gunakan itu mungkin di sana habis. Kemudian kita harus mencari lokasi yang baru lagi untuk menangkap lobster. The fishers leave their nets out overnight and return in the morning. They also catch sand lobsters, but pearl lobsters are worth a lot more. Seperti kalau harga dari lobster mutiara itu 1 juta, itu kalau perbandingan untuk pasir itu palinglah 500, 500.000. Oleh sebab itu kalau di bulan Januari sampai Februari itu nyampe dia sampai 1 juta 1 juta 500.000 per kilogram untuk yang alam. Sementara di bulan lain mungkin berkisar antara 1 juta atau 1 juta 150 itu saja kan. Any lobsters that are large enough to be sold are brought to a seller. Due to government regulations, pearl lobsters that weigh less than 200 grams must be brought to a breeder. Breeders like Murdim raise pearl lobsters in captivity. This method ensures a more reliable supply of lobsters. Saya tertarik karena hasilnya sangat uh, mendukung untuk uh, keluarga kami, keluarga saya gitu untuk membiayai sekolah anak saya dan kebutuhan lain-lainnya. But keeping them healthy is no easy feat. The lobster larvae, or seeds as they're called, are placed in nets that float directly in the ocean, exposed to natural elements. Murdim takes his boat out to feed the lobsters every day. It takes 18 months to fully breed pearl lobster seeds. Ya memang agak sulit dan agak susah mutiara apa lobster mutiara itu dibudidayakan karena agak rentan apa namanya penyakitnya mudah kena diserang penyakit lah gitu dan eh, terlalu mahal bibitnya juga. The lobsters are also often attacked by pufferfish and barracudas who eat their legs. If a lobster loses two legs from the same side, it's considered defective and can't be sold. Ya biasa kita kerjakan kita lepas 50 ekor yang 50 gram itu kita lepas 50 ekor yang satu jaring. Terus sampai pemanenan gitu sekitar 40 ekoran itu sekitar 10% dah, Mbak. The surviving lobsters will grow from 50 grams to the preferred selling weight of 500 grams. To help protect their lobsters, breeders check on the nets throughout the week and repair any damage. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it, since pearl lobsters have become one of the most valuable resources at Indonesian fisheries. To help strengthen the country's lobster farming industry, the Indonesian government has banned the export of all lobster larvae. This measure is also meant to protect its wild lobster populations. However, theft and international smuggling attempts of Indonesia's lobster larvae have not stopped. Back in autumn 2022, authorities caught smugglers transporting $2.2 million worth of lobster larvae. 
The Indonesian government estimates that the country lost more than $64 million in revenue to illegal exports in 2019. The demand for Indonesian lobsters, particularly pearl lobsters, is very high in countries like Singapore, China and Vietnam. Pearl lobsters aren't even always available in Indonesia. Tidak juga sih, tidak semua menjual lobster mustiara. Satu kualitasnya memang dia bagus, juga yang paling mahal di atas rata-rata. Yang membeli lobster mutiara itu biasanya orang-orang yang pengunjung, pendatang, baik lokal, domestik, ataupun juga orang-orang luar negeri. Many restaurants and hotels also buy pearl lobsters, driving up the demand and prices. The time of year impacts how expensive a pearl lobster will be as well. Lobsters are more expensive in January and February because of all the Chinese New Year celebrations. Prices are also higher from August to September, when international tourists come to visit. During these months, captive pearl lobsters sell for around $50 per kilogram, and wild pearl lobsters can sell for as much as $75 per kilogram. Wild pearl lobsters are always more expensive because they tend to be larger than their captive counterparts. They also weigh more, even when they're the same size, so there's more meat to enjoy. Untuk skala rasa, saya lebih memilih lobster mutiara ya dibandingkan lobster yang Pakistan dan lainnya. Dan harganya juga sepadan dengan rasa lobster mutiara itu tersendiri. Pada dasarnya lobster semua sama, tapi bagi saya mungkin lobster mutiara ini lebih empuk dan enak juga ya untuk dirasa. Despite the extravagant cost, one of the most popular ways to eat pearl lobster is grilling it as a local outdoor restaurant. Ya, saya cukup uh, lumayan sering konsumsi lobster mutiara sebulan sekali mungkin atau sebulan dua kali. Saya biasa juga saya bawa ke restoran untuk dibakar atau uh, saya bawa pulang ke rumah untuk digoreng dengan bumbu sendiri. Lobster mutiara memiliki tekstur uh, yang empuk di lidah dan dagingnya tebal juga memiliki rasa manis lah. But despite pearl lobster's popularity in Indonesia and throughout Asia, its price has actually fallen over the years. And its fluctuating value is concerning for the people whose livelihoods depend on it. Uh, harapan kami sebagai nelayan lobster di sini kepada pemerintah untuk stabilasi, eh, stabilkan harga. Kita cuma butuh harga di sini untuk distabilkan. Jangan sampai harganya terlalu anjlok dan drop. Karena kita juga eh, butuh keuangan yang cukup untuk memenuhi segala kebutuhan keluarga.